Hello, I'm Kati and I'm here at Elmer Racing to find out more about their RX 2017 race engine project. Um, how did you get involved in rallycross? Uh, we uh, know uh, Rico Tahko for a, a while back and we supplied uh, some race engine parts for him for 2015 and 2016 seasons and, and uh, also uh, 2016 season I worked as his, uh, um, what, what is it called, a race, race engineer or something, I did a ECU programming for him and, and then, yeah. Lots of problems and solved lots of lots of them. I got a, a quite nice performance from the car, but yeah, that's how we sort of got started in the whole thing. Okay, uh, why take the step to produce a complete rallycross engine? <laughs> oh, well, um, yeah, we when working with the car, I mean, we produce some some parts for for them already, but we saw that they're really really conservative in the engine design and. And uh, ECU mappings, and also uh, when looking at the other other engines that that the uh, big teams are running, the really expensive ones, and and everything, the designs on those are also very conservative. I mean, they are done from um, I mean nice materials. They run carbon fiber intake manifolds, and and uh, yeah, really sort of state of the art turbos and stuff like this. But but um, still, like the basic design and everything is really conservative. So. Thought that there's probably a lot, lots of uh, improvement potential there, so so sort of started thinking about that, and and yeah, here we are now. <laughs> okay, nice to hear. Uh, why is the RX 2017 better than exciting rallycross engines? <laughs> um, yeah, well, the uh, legacy engines that that are available now are uh, they, they are conservative. I mean, rallycross is is all about engine response and. The, RPM and throttle is going up, up and down, up and down all, all the time, and you have like um, static load loads are like maximum of maybe a few seconds a lap or something. Uh, so it's it's very very transient stuff, and so they are um, running, uh, running, yeah, designing the engines and everything for uh, for really getting the transient response from the engine and everything. But but they're at the same time giving up a lo uh, lots of horsepower potential. On that, and that's really, really what I'm, yeah, thinking about. That we need to do, to uh, do an engine that that does the best of both worlds: in increase the, get even better response from the engine, and, and even better sort of uh, anti-lag systems and, and these kind, these setups working, and also have a, have the maximum amount of uh, horsepower we can have from the engine. So these are the things that that we're doing, and and the main sort of sort of ways that we're able to do that is to do a complete engine engine ECU package and that's that's something that I, I think has been overlooked a lot by the by the manufacturers so far. Okay, so you're making your own e e ECU. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, XMs. Uh, yeah. Aren't there lots of good ECUs already? <laughs> um, yeah, there are um, really really a lot a lot of good ones and um, they, they work work I mean Really nice, but but there is a, a lot of development potential there. That that I see it's it's kind of like if you design a, a cylinder head separately from engine block or something. Sure, you can do that, and there are lots of good parts. But but you might not get the best combination from that, and that's really what we're doing. We're sort of the ECU possibilities when we do our own ECU enables us to use different kinds of solutions for the engine parts, and 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 the engine solutions also enable us to do different. Uh, solutions in the ECU, so so it's it's a, a whole package, and we're hoping with this sort of approach, where we're going to be much more competitive with that. Okay, um, uh, what are your goals for the 2017 season? Ah, oh, goals. This is a difficult question. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, thinking about that already, <laughs> half an hour or something. Um, yes, what does my paper say? Goals. Oh yes, improve over the season. Yes, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, I mean we're um, obviously going to, uh, the, the first I mean, goal is to just be at the starting line with a complete package and complete ECU and that's going to take a, a lot of effort and 
hopefully not not run into a, a lot of problems with that but 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 yeah then we need to improve over the whole season to see to see that we can get the potential out of the out of the package and then that's one of the one of the big big things and then uh, hopefully during um, halfway through the season or through the end of the season at least then we're hopefully be moving the goalpost a lot for the engine package and so that we can really show that on, on the streets that our cars are going to be left behind and still in the corners we're going to have excellent response and that's the goal at least we'll have to see how that works yeah let's see uh, how fast will it be um, it should be very fast because we're um, optimizing the engine heavily for maximum horsepower but we still have some some solutions to get very good response from the engine so that should enable it to be very very fast and hopefully fast enough that we're going to upset some of the uh, some of the uh, legacy engine engine manufacturers and and maybe so that they'll complain to the FIA and and want to check our engine that it's uh, legal and everything but yeah that shouldn't be a problem because there is really a lot of a lot of uh, development potential left left unused so but that's I think a, a good sort of way to measure it if the other competitors start getting getting a sort of mad at you that you, that you have too much performance then you're doing something right and that, that's <laughs> That's hopefully how fast we're going to be. Okay, how many people work in the project? Uh, at this moment we have uh, four people here in the company. Mm -hmm. So we're a really, really tiny company and, and uh, compared I would guess that one of the biggest and one of the bigger engine manufacturers and now I, I'm not really sure what kind of budgets they run but I'm guessing that the complete engine development budgets are probably five or between five and ten million euros or something like that. And and we're doing the development project here now for for under two hundred thousand euros. So, <laughs> but yeah, this with this um, complete sort of engine package setup uh, approach, where um, there's so much potential to be had from the uh, from the basic setup. I mean, we're obviously not going to be competitive in all the like small details that the other manufacturers have been developing over the years. But but with the uh, whole package approach will hopefully gain so much from that that we're able to to give up a few tens of horsepowers here and there with the small details of, of the engine and, and still be really competitive at a much much lower budget so okay so, so yeah but yeah we, we are looking to recruit people at the moment we're probably three three people short of where we want to be at the moment so <laughs> yeah so I think it's hard but uh, in reality how hard it is <laughs> um, well, we, we have good ideas and we have <laughs> tested, tested uh, most of the solutions that we are able to uh, do the basic stuff that we want, that we want to um, be, be able to make everything work, but it's still always a big question mark. I mean, we have tested the engine, we, have, we do have the cooling solutions and everything, and, and those basically work, but still with a, with a different cylinder head, a different turbocharger, different uh, mapping solutions. Uh, uh, and our OEM ECU obviously and all reliability stuff it, it, it is uh, I mean there are a lot lots of uh, difficulties but they shouldn't be too big but of course you never know because you're doing new stuff and you might have a small problem it might take 10 minutes to solve it might take two two weeks to solve so you, you ever really know know what's <laughs> going to happen so okay just going to have to see yes and uh, what are the biggest challenge um, the biggest challenge is, is well the timetable is a big challenge mm -hmm. challenge obviously because w we don't have much time now we're uh, two months away from from needing to have the uh, first engine package ready to go for the uh, first race in Barcelona and th that's going to be very tight ti time schedule and I'm not sure we're going to make that but but we're going to push heavily for that and, and hope for the best but after that we have a um, two-week break in the schedule before the next race so so that's a good time to to maybe finish off some details and and be able to run then in, in the second race but hopefully we'll be able to make the first race because the I mean, re real race data is very very important from there and then have two two months time to improve everything for the next race but we'll have to see and uh, i mean obviously yeah just getting everything to work is also one of the challenges to be able to to get the yeah all, all the small details working together because you run into some problem and then if you can't solve that immediately then you start needing to make compromises in other areas to, to keep the whole package running together and mm -hmm. then you start losing performance and all the test results are very bad because they're not relevant to the actual performance you're going to get and uh, and all these kinds of difficulties so 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 yeah lots of challenges and all and also the performance package because <laughs> 
yeah, if we are actually are, are going to get the performance we want or not, that's that's a, a big question. But mm -hmm. but yeah, there are are lots of lots of potential. I think that the legacy manufacturers are leaving on the table. So so hopefully we will be able to to capitalize on that. But but that's also yeah a big challenge. Okay. Thank you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Do you want to say something? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, if you're interested in, in working for us or asking more stuff, then yeah, contact us via our website. And yeah. Okay. Thanks for for coming, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> bye bye.